Hello guys, today I want to show you an interesting example of a lottery class in Laravel. Pretty recent addition to Laravel, it was introduced in Laravel 9 from what I remember. But this example from my colleague Modestas, while trying to seed a lot of data, I think it's a really interesting one. And when Modestas tweeted about it, that tweet received quite a lot of likes, so I thought to show it for YouTube audience as well. So the task is this, you need to create 100,000 records, or it doesn't matter actually how many records, so let's say 100,000 records of tasks, and then you can assign a group to a task, a position, or a person, a user. But the thing is that you don't want to do that in sequence, so 30,000 this, 30,000 that, and 30,000 that. You need approximately 100,000 divided into 3. Or probably a more simple example could be 30,000 and then 10k, 10k, 10k. You need approximate. So for example, from 30 records in total, you would be okay with having 11, 9, and then 10 in another group. So this is what Modestas came up with. Lottery, odds, chance of 1 out of 3 for that task to have a group. And this is the syntax of lottery class. You provide the odds, 1 out of 3, and in case of winner, you have a callback function to do whatever. In case of loser, you may perform another lottery inside, which is exactly what Modestas did. So in case of loser, which means two out of three chance, we perform another lottery and from the remaining ones, we have one out of two chance to have a position or a user attached to that. And again, winner and loser callbacks. And in both cases, we choose one time. So one time for this lottery and one time for outside lottery. And when I launched that seed, the result in the database was this. So 100,000 rows in tasks and we have polymorphic relations here. So we have assignable stable and this group, group, user, group, position, group looks pretty random, but at the same time, not in sequence. And if we launch the SQL of counting different records, see, it's not exactly 33333. Three, three, three. So a bit more users assigned and a bit fewer positions and groups assigned. But that's the whole thing. It's lottery with approximate chance, but pretty accurate. So if you're performing some kind of predictably random results, I think lottery is a good way of performing that. And if you want to see the actual tutorial it was created for, this is the one premium tutorial belongs to many versus polymorphic relations. So if you had a similar dilemma in the past, whether to have many small tables of user task and group task and something like that, or have one polymorphic, in this article, we perform the comparisons from different angles. And I will link that in the description below as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.